Hello and welcome in Atasca for Beginners. Uh, this tutorial series is made exclusively for Pocketables.com and Pocketables website has a lot of articles in regards to how to use Tasca and what is Tasca capable of. However, a lot of them are a little bit outdated right now and here comes this series. This tutorial is for Android Marshmallow and Lollipop devices. I'm using a Nexus device, which is also rooted. Uh, so if you have a different device, uh, if you have a different Android version, you might want to consider this. We're going to start this tutorial by creating very simple profile based on auto rotation. For now, please follow the steps as we're going to use this example to explain how Tasker works and, well, to show you all the features that Tasker has to offer. Let's have a look. Add a profile and select First Context Application. We're going to be using a YouTube and MX player as our examples, and we're going to create a profile responsible for enabling auto-rotation when uh, one of these applications is on the screen. Now, once this is done, just go back and we're going to create new task. There is a small bug and the label is underneath the keyboard. However, just type in your name. I'm just going to use rotation plus and hit enter to open your task. From action, select the display and display auto rotate and set it to on. Add another action, variables, then variable set. We're going to create a variable starting with the uppercase R and the name is going to be rotation. We're going to set the variable to on. We're going to use this task later on in a scene. So once your variable is created, we can test the task that we've created. So uh, hit the play button now. You'll see that both tasks has been executed. And right now uh, your auto rotate setting should be set to auto. Go to the scenes tab as we're going to create a very simple notification on screen that our profile has been uh, activated. Click plus to add a scene and let's name the scene. Uh, I'm going to be very creative here and call it rotation as well. First in properties I'm going to change the color from a transparent one to something fixed so we could see it a little bit better. I'm going to pick a nice red color. It should go well with the YouTube layout. Now the background is defined, let's modify our shape to something smaller because we're not going to use entire screen estate. The general shape is ready, so let's add an element. For this tutorial, like I said, it's just a brief one, we're going to use text. This will be briefly displayed on our screen and we just want this to notify us about uh, our auto rotate settings. Earlier on, we've created a variable that describes uh, what is the state of our auto rotation. So we're going to use it here. Select the variable mark and then pick the var variable you've created. Last thing to make this scene complete is just aligning a text a little bit better so it wouldn't be cut off. The scene is ready. Let's jump back to the task as we need to uh, tell Tasker to display our scene. Click on actions and scene, then create a scene button. There should be only one available so you don't have to select it. The second action is to display the scene as by default, even though the scene is created, it will not appear on the screen. So action, scene, show scene, and let's display it as dialog. I'm just gonna leave everything by default there. Now we want the scene to be displayed for about one second. So let's add a wait time, task and wait and then select the length of the um, wait time for me, just one second. Lastly, after brief periods of time, we want to destroy the scene. So go to the scene again and select destroy the scene. Your name should be already there. Everything seems to be ready. So let's test it out by hitting the play button. As you can see, we're going to receive an error here when creating the scene. This is because Tasker saves files and changes when you leave the task itself. So exit out the task and get back to it. And let's try this again. This time I'm expecting this to work. So go back to the task and run it. And here you go. You should have a brief moment when the scene is displayed for you. So everything seems to be working right now. So let's go ahead and test entire profile. Exit out the task and enter one of the applications selected. As you can see on my mobile, the auto rotation settings are disabled. So it's set to the portrait mode. 
However, as soon as I open my YouTube application, this should change to auto rotate. Now, when I exit the YouTube application, you should also notice that uh, settings will return to the previous value and they're going to be set to portrait mode only. Perhaps you realize that we didn't tell Tasker uh, what to do when we exit YouTube. However, there is an option called the restore settings that made sure the previous values before the profile has been activated has been applied. Now that we have a sample profile ready, uh, let's have a look on all options available from Tasker. Go to preferences and in the user interface disable beginners mode. You can also allow external access. The first thing you will notice, we have a new tab called Fireballs. There are also project folders available at the bottom of the screen as well. Based on the profile we've just created, as an example, I'm going to tell you more about projects, profiles, tasks, scenes and variables. Click on a screen link uh, to learn more about each section, also the links for the tutorials you'll find in the description of this video. And as usual, thanks for watching guys! Hit the like button if you found it useful, leave me a comment if you've got something to add, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!